a man of science. He's married to the woman of his dreams, and they have a good life. Have a good day. Coffee to go. Oh my gosh, you're my hero. Until one night, he doesn't make it home. Dark Matter is based on a novel by Blake Crouch. It stars Joel Edgerton and Jennifer Connelly. Connelly won the Oscar for A Beautiful Mind over 20 years ago. I interviewed her then. This time around, she plays a woman who's living with an alternate reality of her husband. I think that it's so unfathomable that she's living with this man for all of this time, even though she knows that something is wrong and that something has changed, she can't identify it because she would never imagine in a million years that like, actually I'm living with an alternate version, you know, a version of my husband who's come from an alternate reality. It's something that none of us can, can really fathom or any of us have ever experienced. When you're doing a series like this, sometimes you know all the way through where it's going. And sometimes they're, they're still they're kind of keeping things from you to kind of keep you on your toes. Which way, what is it for you? On this, we had the book. So our show is based on, you know, the so whole know. first season is kind of a, it, it tells the story of, of Blake's novel. And so I had that, so I knew where it was going. And of course, you know, we didn't actually have all the scripts written when we first started. We had the first few while the execution was, you know, like the, the writing was, you know, a surprise. The content was, you know, I, I knew where the story was going. Well, that would be a help, especially if you're gonna shoot out of any kind of context. When you do have to shoot um, out of order, as you often have had to do, do you have a technique for making sure you're at the right place with the character, the right tone? I do. I have, I write out my own lists of like every scene that I'm in and it has like a, it's like a one liner of the oh. scene, the episode, what, you know, what happens in that thing that, you know, in a way that describes it quickly for me that I know where I am. Do you have to look at it and then think about it or does that bring it back and then you're ready to go? Yeah, it brings it back because I've spent I've spent that time sort of in rehearsals and just on my own thinking about choices for the character, and I, I can do that just sort of like having a little cheat sheet running through to make sure I'm not missing anything. Because sometimes if you just get the the scene number, you're like, wait, what? Had, have I already done this? Have I already done that? You know, and there's so much content that you're moving between. It's great to see you again. I, I deep, deeply resent the fact that you haven't changed at all, and I look like this, but. I'm going to forgive you since you're a nice person. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you. Flicks with Patrick Stoner explores the craft and culture of filmmaking that enhance our communities for television stations and websites around the country.